Well, everybody, how we going? Look, lines of silage. Oh. It's great. Absolutely brilliant. Um, we're up at my cousin's. Um, he bought uh, his second wagon, so we came down last year. We can do a throwback. We brought the Valtra down with Farmer Garris, uh, should he make our wagon, but um, my cousin, who we've visited many times over the years, we've brought him down a 250R, we put it on his JF, we brought him down um, the white Valtra back in the day, and we put it on his JF, but he has decided now, ground has become closer to him, uh, circumstances have changed, he uh, is now working on uh, wagon silage. So he bought himself the Jumbo last year on his 190R, the same track that we again have featured in some of our videos. So we have a very close relationship with James, my cousin. So um, he was on about a second wagon and uh, he was actually looking at a jum another Jumbo uh, over actually in England. And uh, Geth and our good friend uh, at John Deere, who actually supply supplied the farmer with his 190, um, was selling this here uh, Stroutman. So she's basically a Stroutman 3601, same idea as what we had last year. A few years old, it's only 1,210 uh, loads through her before she came down here tonight. So we literally, just to help my cousin out, went and picked it up. And when we were sitting in the yard last night, I did a live video. We, um, we just tuned it up onto the 310R and uh, we said we'd come up tonight, put a few loads through it, see how it's doing, help our cousin out. Gary's a little bit nervous uh, with the 310R, if I'm honest. Uh, just the horsepower. So he's just taking his time, he's, he's feeding a few loads through her. But she looks absolutely mint. He's, <laughs> he's a happy boy. So we are, look, we're just taking our time. Um, getting one or two loads on her. And uh, so that's a lovely fresh wagon now. Um, there she is. We have a few shots of it. I know Gary's been talking about it. The big 310's looking mint. Guy's probably being sensible. But this is the furthest away stuff. This is actually this ground that we're standing on. My grandfather worked. And uh, now my cousin owns it. He has bought it. Uh, in, in through the years and uh, as a child I grew up I remember doing spuds and this used to be two fields six and three quarter acres in here this used to be two fields down there and I remember doing spuds and stuff back there Olivia's out doing a wee bit of filming so Gary's happy and uh, uh, yeah so silage so love love being up this to me is like getting home getting out and about home this to me is what it's all about and uh, Mark, uh, Mark is uh, carting in as well. Yeah, I see more grass in this than I realised. I thought there was no grass at the minute, but going well. Three ten R. I wouldn't say it's overkill. Look, I think it's all about. Um, yes, a smaller tractor will do the job. We all know that. We all know that. But you know, there's a lot of wet ground here, and the, that tractor. Yes, she's heavy, but she's on big tires and. That wagon's in seven tens and, you know, it's all about, you know, it's easy in that tractor and, uh, and one thing and another. And I know James would consider a big tractor like that just to, so it's always working at it's leisure. Now, some people have that mentality of, you're better working a big engine easier than you are a small engine to the absolute max. So, I don't really know. I just know I'm not in the 310, which is disappointing but that's my fault because I was busy today had meetings and stuff so Gary he got to give her a wee run out but we're not just testing her horsepower today I'm sure if we had the right size of a wagon we would so anyway peace love and remember it's okay to not be okay we all can have bad days
so just a wee quick update what's happening uh, right on James Campbell's farm we're no stranger to this farm uh, you've all seen James before um, this farm before I think we first filmed on it well I think it was testing for two legends and a donkey and then a bit of donkey contracts was actually filmed with wagons and the 435 here but James uh, ran a JF himself for years and last year he made the shift to wagon silage bought his own Pottinger jumbo combi line and this year he has added uh, a Stroutman I actually picked it up for him yesterday bought a, a lovely used Stroutman um, she hasn't done a whole lot now picked it up yesterday and we just decided to leave it on the 310 because James had a bit mowed down 50 odd acres and we thought we would uh, just give the 310 a run out and see how she gets on actually I haven't done a whole lot with her yet she was she was with Pottinger um, pulling the big uh, desk and cultivators and stuff they had her on hire for a while but after she came I haven't really done a lot with the tractor if I'm honest um, moving her about the yard and stuff I had the feeling she was a bit clumsy maybe and but actually when I'm I've drove her now for a couple of days she's actually really growing on me um, she's a big tractor I would say it's width more than anything but she's on 900 tyres on the back which yeah she doesn't she wouldn't really need them for this work in fairness if she had a set of 7 tens on her would make her neat enough she's actually surprisingly maneuverable you set up very high on her which I think gives you a lot of sense that she's huge but wheelbase wise she's not really um, so that and her front wheels set out very wide which gives you a good turn and look the auto power is lovely um, I think and my I, I don't know my humble opinion I, I just prefer the I prefer the little stick with the wheel over the command pro but I would say that's uh, I would say if you were at certain jobs now the command pro arm would be would be uh, probably better but for this job this is really nice cabs best in the market in my opinion you don't there isn't better out there than this especially this one it's on the the big seven series you just need so much room in it and it's so quiet you've everything you need like don't hey talk about it because like everybody knows what an r series is like there so yeah big trackers brilliant really she has um james is running his own wagon mark his son's driving at there on a 190R uh, well we actually had that tractor for when we fell in green and green that pulled the I think it was the Heron trailer maybe that would be 2017 so James must have that tractor come in four years um, so yeah that's that's what's get her lit up here so just have her set up here just PTO and she goes to PTO revs and pull her back we're about over calling the power situation 
for the, the poor stripe one, but where I was just kind of just taking it easy. There's no no stress on so. Wagon actually has isobus, but we, we got her plugged in and all earlier. But she was bringing it all up here and all, but um, she wouldn't let you configure the spools of the tractor to do the functions. So you'd have had to have done it off the screen. So we just delayed. It was uh, she must need an update or something. I, I don't know, but the tractor wasn't recognising. Um, so we'll get that sort of like there's no big deal but just mount to the wee box and it's as handy as any so it's not that there's a lot going on really it's that's pretty straightforward so um yeah we had the it's a 3602 stripe man we had out last year we ran it on the the Valtra. um yeah it was a lovely wagon too that would did a slightly wider pickup than this one few different wee bits around it but on the whole the same wagon really this one's in the same tyres and uh, yeah James works in uh, a lot of by a lot of mossy ground up here and it needs something that would carry um, it says me and it on a 310R but anyway at least it's dry the day so we'll maybe get in and out no problem so I'm staying on the good ground. <laughs>